hey guys so uh like comment and subscribe okay so first things first let me start by saying nobody asked for this but me okay so <laughs> i'm gonna post my um foundations in the description box along with the numbers and everything um that i currently use and that all match i had some other ones like say like five or six others but i've since gifted those to other people um because that's when i first was starting out and maybe like uh 2019 ish um and i ordered foundations and i didn't know what they um my shade was but i'm pretty good with shade matching um and i got the hang of it um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with um, these three um, because they're in my shop, my stash. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull each foundation one by one and give a little review. Okay, so let's start with this one, the Cali Ray. Um, I have the shade 18. Um, this is a like skin tint type of um, product um mm, it's okay it's okay for a skin tint it's pretty thin um it says that it's supposed to be hydrating buildable blurring i wouldn't say that it's um buildable or blurring um i think it's like just like your regular it seems like a tinted sunscreen um this is my Dior um foundation now i'm gonna be honest this acts like a skin tint um, it is buildable though. Um, I don't think it has SPF in it, but um, listen, I have it at 6.5 in. It is it is everything. Okay, you need a summer a summer um, foundation. This is it. This is for you. Okay, you're welcome. Thank me now. Um, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, um, and I like have everything for Estee Lauder and NARS. Those two, like, they can do no wrong in my eyes uh, as far as it goes with foundation. They have, Estee Lauder also just has really good products in general. Um, okay, so this is in shade 6N2. This is my uh, 6N2 Truffle. This is my perfect shade in Estee Lauder. Um, I've tried 6N1. I've tried 7N1. 7 in 1 uh, is a little bit dark for me. I can make it work. 6 in 1 is a little like yellowish for me, but I can also make it work. But 6 in 2 is like the perfect neutral. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, this is a skin tint. Um, and yes, it is sheer. Yes, it is long lasting. It says there's SPF in it, but that doesn't even matter. It, just, it This is it. This is it. This is another really good summer. Um, I've always lived in hot and humid places and this does no wrong for me now before i move to these um i want to first by saying i do have like two or three foundations in my sephora car i did not go sh shopping in sephora this past time around because um i've told myself i need to uh wait <laughs> to the fall or at least the summer before shopping i do want to show some i have some immediate backup products here and i also have i don't think i have any immediate backup products in my um uh backup drawer but i could but these are my immediate backup products so um i got this one when i lived in asia i really like this one it is soft it is matte um here let me put these back i had like a little system here that i just messed up because i wanted to pull these two out um Okay, um, I can show you what it looks like. I have not opened it. I used to have one opened already. Um, this is kind of like a um, knockoff version of the um, ordinary um, one like this. Ordinary used to have one like this, and this is like just a knockoff version. You know, when you in like you live in Asia, you can find a, a lot of like um, different branded things that are similar to the stuff we get around these parts um i got it in 110 truffle and it is a perfect match for my skin tone and then um i also have this uh Shisaido, um which is a japanese um foundation i don't know what made me get a radiant lifting one um because i am nowhere near a radiant type of girl when i'm looking for foundations um this one is in shade i have not used it yet 
um it's in shade 530 henna um i have another product from them that i have not worked through yet the skin tint it's somewhere around here i'll get to it eventually um but the skin tint i'm not a huge fan of it so it's kind of just turned me off from trying this out but i have it in my immediate um backup drawer so i'll be trying it soon again i don't think i have any foundations in my backup backup but i'll check it you know before i end off this video to make sure um okay so those are the two that i have not opened yet and they're here in this drawer as like immediate like those are the next foundations i'm gonna open i believe i have the Giorgio Armani and the um da vinci foundations and concealers in my current sephora cart so um i'll get to those so just comment, let me know if you like these kind of videos. Um, I'm going to do foundations now. I can do, like, I have my um, my pressed powders here. I have my um, loose powders here next to it. So um, I have my makeup palettes. I have um, my blushes, bronzers, highlights. Like, we can do it all. But I'm just going to start here with foundations and skin tints um now i'll just i'll go from here and just go across the row and tell you if i like it what kind of um texture it is and if i recommend it again i've always lived in hot slash humid places Look, i'm so ashy i need to do better um i swear i'm always ashy and you wouldn't think that i have lotion but i have lotion everywhere um for some reason, I stay, 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 stay ashy. Um, I need to do better. And I will one day. Just, you know, maybe not today. Um, okay. So, sorry. Let's, let me not be too ashy on this camera. Okay. So, let's, we're going to start with um, my foundations and skin tints again. Sorry. I had to uh, make a quick adjustment. All right, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. There we go. All right, so we're going to start with... Um, first things first, why is this everywhere? Okay, let's start with this Urban Decay. Um, Urban Decay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. This is an 81NN. And I saw, I believe on Sephora, you can get this now for like um like $19 or something. So sell. So they're getting rid of it. Um, this one is a little bit darker, not quite, but it's like it's almost a perfect match for me. It's very nice. Um, it's very deep. Uh to show you a little bit of the color. Um, it's lightweight. <laughs> Um, definitely. Um, it's, I like a full coverage. No, I'm lying. Sorry. I like a light coverage to medium coverage type of foundation because I do my makeup in steps because I have oily skin. Plus I usually live in a humid or hot place. Um, this does well. Um, it's fairly long lasting. It'll last you about six to eight hours. Um, with like your powder steps and everything, it gets in a full day's wear. Um, I have the Fenty for the longest. I didn't have a Fenty shade, um, but I do now. Um, it's in 445. Yeah, 445. Um, this is their Pro Filter Stay Matte Longwear Foundation. Um, this is nice. I probably won't purchase it again. Um, not because there's anything wrong with it. I just don't find myself reaching for this. Um, I feel like, um, it's not as drying. I think I got the second batch or third batch. I'm almost done with it. I've had it for like two years and it, it still works nice, even though there's a little separation there. There's only like this much left in there though. Um, so I'll finish that up. Um, this is my, um, Lancome foundation. I know they just came out with a new one. I have two shades in 510 SUEC and then 520 SUE. W. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I these both were the same, they look the same on my skin. Um, com combined with my bronzer and powder, like you can't tell a difference. So, yeah, one could be my um, 
winter shade versus summer shade but honestly you can't really tell that much of a difference on my face um they're nice they're long lasting you can get like 10 12 hours out of this um pat mcgrath let me shake her up i actually haven't had this that long um i have it in deep 29 in i'm sorry deep 29 there's no in um i like it i will say the one thing is is that this is not transfer proof um and so i gotta make sure i powder up nicely um because uh this does not react well to like humid weather um unless i have on like my one size powder or something like that like i can't just go outside in any kind of thing um it is definitely lightweight formula is breathable it looks like skin like if you want skin this is skin like i don't think any other formula gives you skin like this gives you skin except for like the nars like this is skin like that's it um i have uh, a sample um estee lauder there but i also have uh estee lauder and seven in and six in two and this is another six in two i have two open because i was traveling with one and one was at home and i didn't know i had two i had one already open anyways um best foundation ever it's a reason why this is a legacy brand this is everything seven and two is a little i mean seven and one is a little dark but what i'll normally do is i'll do my whole face with this one and if i want like a nice bronzer look i put this around like the edges very nice foundation lightweight full like medium to full coverage is definitely buildable um it stays in place i don't care i wore this when i was in vegas okay and it's hot in vegas like stepping outside you start sweating but this was this was it this was good also wore this in the middle east it worked well and then i have um, my nars foundation i also have this in two shades um i have it in deep three and deep two um i'm not gonna try i can't say that well um and yeah um so the thing about it for the longest time i thought it was a deep three. Oh, sorry this is the nars soft matte um complete foundation so for the longest i thought it was a deep three but when i saw the photos i just look really really brown like really 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 brown and um it looks nice don't get me wrong but it was clearly too brown um whereas when i wear this one um this one's like a shade lighter and it works well for like with my bronzer and my um concealer it just plays well with everything this one plays well but it's like it's a little bit like just a shade too dark but i still could wear it um but i do the same thing with this nars that i do with the essay lauder sometimes i wear them together sometimes i'll just wear this one this one doesn't have much left in it um this one i bought the summer this one i've had for like a year and a half um anyways uh very very much soft matte i would definitely recommend this is a good foundation okay now we're gonna move into the skin tint and i have this one that's in five in one and i also have two sample sizes in six in one um and that's for a reason because i bought one of these i already had this one because i wore this one for the longest this is a tinted moisturizer um it says oil free but i don't believe it <laughs> um it's a good it's a good um tinted moisturizer but if you have oily skin be careful it definitely transfers um i wear this one for the longest it looks nice but eventually i tried the 6n one and it's just a better match for me and that's it there's nothing wrong with it i i won't buy 5n one again because i've realized that 6n one is just a better match but i'm not throwing away because i pay for it and i'm gonna keep it and still use it um and then i have this um ysl new bear look tint um and i have it in um nu18 um no uh actually no i think i'm thinking of the giorgio mania one my bad this one's okay it's nothing to write home about it doesn't give me um biddable or anything like that it's very much a lightweight um skin tint it's okay um nothing to too much complain about for my oily skin sometimes it settles into my fine lines so i have to make sure i use my um mac 24 extended eye base on my smile lines whenever i wear um something like this 
Next, we have the um, Urban Decay Stay Naked Tinted Glow Hydrator, 24-hour wear. Um, first off, I need note to self, never buy anything with the word glow in it because glow is not for me. Um, I like a soft matte type of look because naturally, um, depending on the foundation, what steps I go through within a couple hours, I'm going to start to glow anyway. So I don't need to start off glowy. Um, this um, is hydrating, but it moves around. Let's be honest. It moves around and um, it works, but it's not my favorite. Um. <sighs> Natasha Denona. I bought this when it was on sale for, I think, like between $15 and $20. Poor Vanishing, that's a lie. Matte, that's also a lie. Transformative, um, I'm not sure what it transforms into oil slick. Um, it, I'm in 90, and this is a nice match. It's a good, 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 good color for me. Um, but um, I got to be careful and powder up my life when I'm wearing something like this. Um, <laughs> but guess what we got nars and homegirl does not play okay this nars uh pure radiant tinted moisturizer spf 30 um i have it in deep one this is the perfect color for me um it is long wearing it's nice on the skin doesn't give me any like texture looking or anything like that um like just know like nars estee lauder um lancome like they're the girls they play and if i'm really looking for a softer um makeup look meaning i don't want like a full foundation type face then i'll wear my laura messier my nars skin tint even my fenty one um, but the thing about this Fenty is, is that, um, she's not long lasting. I have her in 21. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop. Um, it's nice. It looks great, but this is like, I'm about to be outside for like an hour. I'm out of my house maximum, like four hours, four or five hours. It is not long lasting. Um, like it, it doesn't powder. What is that? It does not matter. It will move around. You got to make sure you prepare yourself with this and make sure to bring along some powder to, um, to keep your coverage because this can move around as well. Now I, I have these, I've had them for a while. I only just now started trying them, the beauty blender bounce. Um, and I have it in what color is this deep three and then for the ilia one i have it in st16 um and they're similar uh this one has a lot of skincare in it um i like the drops i don't know why i just like it it's a thin formula um very thin very lightweight um, you know, this reminds me of the um, the Estee Lauder skin tint, the one that I showed earlier in the video, like these drops. I thought I wouldn't like drop type foundations, but actually I like them fairly nice. I can't complain about either one. Um, yeah, they're they're OK. And then I have this best skin ever one. This one's almost gone. This is five in 59 in. Um, and the claims, um, long wearing, natural look, um, yeah, um, long wearing, I'm not sure about that, but it does give a natural look. Actually, the other Sephora one, I think, is better than this one. Um, this one, no, that's the other Shiseido one. Where's that other Sephora branded? Oh, I showed it to you, I showed it earlier, I think. Where is that? Did I show it? Oh, here it is. This one. This Sephora um, Matte Perfection Tinted Moisturizer. This is a tinted moisturizer. This is exactly what it says it is. It's lightweight. It feels better on my skin. Um, this one feels weird on my skin. It's a little bit thicker than this one. Um, I, this one is a foundation. This is a skin tint. And clearly, if you can tell by my collection, I prefer skin tints. I prefer the look. I prefer how it feels on my skin. All of it. Now, this is the only, like, um, this is a sheer glow foundation. This is the only glow type of foundation that 
does me no wrong. Like, and of course it's because it's NARS. NARS is that girl. I have it in dark three and they be playing around with like this dark two, dark three. Like they go in and out depending on which one it is. But I've always gotten a pretty good shade match with these. Um, sheer glow yes it glows a bit but it's not too it's not it's not bad at all and i don't have a nars product that moves like it does not move around my skin is oily in the t-zone it's drier under my eyes and around the edges of my face but like the whole center of my face including parts of my cheeks are oily my under eye is dry and the outside perimeter of my face is dry so this works very well for that i started talking about this earlier um, this Giorgio Armani, Armani Neo Nude True Skin Natural Glow Foundation. This is in 13. Absolutely not. Zero out of 10. I would not recommend. Don't go past go. Don't think that you have oily skin and this is going to work because this is not it. At least it doesn't work for me. Like, there's not a part of my face that this works on. Like, and no matter what the foundation or skin tint is, usually there's part of a foundation that will work well and I could make it work. This one, no, 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 no. Okay, next up we have this uh, Tower 28 um, tinted sunscreen. Um, I have it in 63rd Street. This works fine. Um, I can't complain. This is nice for like um, a light coverage type of day um it's hard for me because even with a light coverage day i still wear powder um because there's no way i'm going outside with any type of foundation on without some sort of powder um before i move forward um as far as any of them having scents in it most of them have no to light scent i think only the lancome one has a little bit more of a scent the rest of them don't really have a strong scent. Um, yeah. Okay. Then I have these two Clinique ones. Um, this one's thicker, like a foundation. This one's more of a skin tint. Um, and you can kind of tell in the name. Um, sheer tint, oil free makeup, stay matte. Um, as far as the numbers, this is WN118. This is Universal Deep. Exact matches. They're fine. Have nothing to complain about. Um, they work well. And I'm so happy that a lot of these brands have um, shades that match me. I can't... Um, I'm trying to think if... You know, by the time I got into makeup like that, they already had foundations that match me. Um, so I don't necessarily have the complaint that, you know, in the past, I didn't have foundation to match me. I've always watched makeup videos, but I've only within the last like three to five years really gotten into wearing makeup, wearing foundations myself. I've always been a powder girl, like for the last 10 years or so. But this is recently that I've started wearing like actual foundation. Um, I already talked about Sephora one. This is the uh, Shiseido um, skin tint that I was talking about. And you would think this works well because it's a Japanese product. And Japan is hot and humid during the summer months. So you would think this works well. Um, it absolutely does not. Um, it's a good color match, 515. Um, but this like... You put it on, it starts to fade, it does it never dries down, like it's just it's a no. All right, now um I have two foundations coming up, or I have this one and my Tom Ford one. These are the worst foundations, worst that I have. This BBB cream by one size. I love everything by one size except this. Everything else, 100 percent This absolutely not um this is in dark too the reason why i don't like this is way too thick um i like as you could tell i like thinner formulas light to medium coverage you know when i want to go out and look like dressy super formal i wear these on the bottom these on the bottom if it's like everyday type of wear then it's the rest of them and you can kind of see how it's categorized these are more medium medium coverage and these are just like the, your lighter weight coverage type of foundations but this here listen i cannot complain enough 
The only reason I still have it is because I bought it. Like, if I could return this, I would. But I live abroad, and normally I ship things in, and it's already at a fee and all those other stuff. So um, I don't have the luxury of returning items. But if I could, this is terrible. Again, I like everything else. But this, no. This, <laughs> Tom Ford 11 Dust. I've tried several shades. Uh, I bought this three times, no lie. Um, and I'll show you what the color looks like. The color, actually, this is the last one. I need like a shade darker, but the shade up is still weird. It's just, it's like yellow. It's it's just, I'm just, I'm done. I'm done purchasing from Tom Ford. Um, this is one of the products that I just knew was gonna work um, because it got so many rave reviews. Um, this, is, this is the closest that I found as far as the match goes. And um, this, what is it um that trina song like slip and slide records yeah every time i look at this this here i think of that like it slips slides all over the place it is terrible now this um hourglass this is an espresso let's see yeah it's an espresso this was my first first foundation first one First one I ever bought. I This is like my third one. Um, and I used to only wear this stick foundation and powder. That's it. For like, like since I graduated college or let me stop lying. I think I started wearing makeup um, maybe in 2016, 2017. And when I wear, was wearing makeup, it was first just powder. And then around like 2000. 19 ish it started being this stick formula yeah 2019 i think is when i first bought this uh, not this one like this is like the third one but like the first one i bought and then around 2020 2021 is when i started to amass this collection yeah i, I find something and it becomes like a full-on addiction um anyways this is really good it works nice um it's a nice stick formula um, I, now that I've experienced these other formulas, I wouldn't buy this one because you need to basically wear this on bare skin to make it the best and then powder. And I've since changed my, um, way of doing makeup and it doesn't make this, uh, operate like optimally. Um, this is my fashion fair stick foundation it's in chocolate darling oh i also have i keep the because this is a pressed powder draw up here but i keep the um foundation the cream to powder one this is also in chocolate darling now look at this this is amazing like this is amazing you hear me this cream to powder amazing absolutely would recommend especially for summer and hot and humid places absolutely now this stick this stick girl absolutely not like don't do it to yourself like if you are wondering which one works better and you have oily combo skin or whatever like this ain't it the cream to powder legacy it is it this absolutely not um this lys i have this lys triple fix serum foundation um it's in dpn1 um the th thing about this is is that i don't have a true shade this one this one looks like this um deep three from nars they're uh, just a tad too dark it looks brown like super brown not neutral which I'm neutral. It doesn't look neutral. It looks brown on me. Um, which I'm brown, but if you saw the look together, you would you know what I mean. If you you know what I mean, you know what I mean, all right? Um that's not the problem. The problem is is that this has too much skincare in it. Um, because I can make it work. I can make any of these work. That's why they're still here. But this one has way too much skincare in it. So it just doesn't cause me to reach for it, basically. Um, and the last one is a drugstore foundation I have here. This is the matte poreless, normal to oily. Um, and it's in 355. Um, what is his name? Coconut. Yeah, coconut. Um, it's fine. It's a drugstore foundation. I don't normally wear 
drugstore foundations. Um, I think this is only the second one I've ever had. Uh, the first one I got rid of because I like it expired in like six months. Um, this one, I just have it on hand. I think I'll travel with it, uh, you know, because I need to start taking um, makeup that I can afford to lose because um, makeup is expensive. And when you lose a makeup bag or you leave something somewhere when you go somewhere, like it hurts. It cuts, it cuts deeper, you know. So anyways this is these are the foundations i've amassed over the past like uh i guess three years now um some i purchased over the summer um when i was home and a handful of them i got when i was home for the christmas break i won't be returning home i don't think this summer up until i think i'm gonna go home for thanksgiving so i'll probably collect or not collect but grab the other two foundations i'm thinking about buying i will definitely do a like one-to-one -one review with my new foundations um this will be the end of my foundation slash skin tint collection unless i go into my stash and see um some new ones that i haven't opened which i don't think there's anything there if it is i'll add it to this video otherwise thank you like comment and subscribe